Oh, Halloween. There's nothing some people love more than a good scare. The ghosts, the goblins, the ghouls. Down here at Spirit Halloween in Lethbridge, we're finding that some of the most popular costumes this year are anything Barbie related, of course, including Alan from the Barbie movie. Other than that, we're looking at Wednesday, anything spooky or horror theme related. Okay, so that's for the humans. Now, what about when it comes to your pets? What have we got here? We got a lot of really funny ones. We do. We have some funny, we have some quirky, we have some horror. So it just depends on what you're looking for. Um, they're really fun. You put them in. The pets are part of the family. We want them to dress up with us, right? So we can fit it in with our theme. It's just something fun and extra that you get to do with the extended member of your family. So there are animals that actually enjoy this then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, not mine, that's for sure. I make them do it every year for the 30 second photo. Um, but uh, yeah, there are some that actually really enjoy it. And although some pets seem not to mind being dressed up, Animal Services Emergency Officer Skylar Plord says Halloween can be a stressful time for some pets. This restrictive costume and a hat or face covering or something like that can be very overstimulating to them. Um, so really pay attention to your animal's behavior if you are you know, going to be using a costume. And if you are, use something that's loose fitting, not restricting to them. And during the evenings when it's time for the little ghosts and goblins to pay your house a visit, Plord gives some tips on how to keep your furry friends from freaking out. That constant opening and closing of the door and strangers, and so especially for dogs, that can be very um, overwhelming for them. The best place for all of your pets uh, during this event is, is in a safe, comfortable, secure place at home. And when it comes to going out trick-or-treating, Plord recommends leaving your four-legged family members at home. There's just a, a, an increased risk that something could happen. Um, they get spooked by something. There's extra vehicles, extra people walking around. There, there's just a little bit more danger for both the pet and, and possibly other people too. If, if your animal is put into a situation where it's uncomfortable and it, and it reacts, uh, it could result in, in a dog bite or something. And to avoid unnecessarily taking your pet to the vet this Halloween, keep our trick-or-treating snacks away from our animals. There's just, you never know what they could get into and the, you know, an expensive vet visit on Halloween is not something anybody wants to experience. Yeah. Plord says Animal Control receives a higher number of calls about animals escaping from homes during the trick-or-treating hours. It really make sure that they're at home, they're in that safe, comfortable space, they're away from the door, um, and, and it's just safer for them and the rest of the community. For Bridge City News, I'm Jeanette Roche.